Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna cover our outreach system that allowed us to hit $10,000 a month in just the first few months of running our SMMA, the same system that we've used to scale our business past that point to the seven figure mark in revenue. This is an incredibly important video, so let's not waste any time and dive right into it. First, let's quickly cover what to do and what not to do with your outreach. Before David and I even started an SMMA, we had a combined decade of experience and had sold over $15 million worth of products and services. And some of the best sales advice I ever got as a rep was from our VP of inside sales at the enterprise organization I was working for. She said once and quote, be brief, be brilliant and be gone. So basically be direct, be to the point, provide value and respect their time as well as your own time. Business owners are very busy. So you don't want to be wasting their time beating around the bush, be very direct, be brilliant with what you have to say and provide value and be gone. The next thing you want to focus on is your time. Tone. This is something that I really didn't understand when I first started selling over the phone. I would really hype myself up and get into the mode of selling. And ultimately, I would change the way I spoke with prospects. And that can be a very, very bad thing when first starting out. So you want to keep your tone professional, almost as if you're calling up a friend and you want to be natural when you're speaking. So don't start changing the inflections in your voice. You know, how are you doing today, sir? You know, be calm, speak like you normally speak. You don't have to feel like I have to become this salesperson, you know, be yourself, be natural. That is going to resonate with people because you are going to be authentic and that's going to make you more trustworthy and ultimately help you close more deals. Some of this you'll gain over time, but this will become more and more natural as you put the reps in. So to help you when you first start having conversations with clients is script out the first couple sentences, the way you're going to start the conversation, and then just have a couple key bullet points of what you're going to discuss in the rest of the call. This will really help you keep it conversational and you don't want to script out the whole thing because conversation conversations can twist and turn and go different ways. But if you have a basic guide that can allow you to have a fruitful conversation and steer you back to where you need to be on the call. If you want me to shoot a video specifically on the top three questions you should ask on every single call, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to shoot that video. So now that we've covered the basics on how to really speak to prospects when you get them on the phone, let's talk about our outreach methods and the platform that we're going to use. So the very first thing you need to do is pick a platform form. So each niche is gonna play better on one platform more than the other. So to visualize this, I actually built a chart that can help you understand where I would spend my time for each niche. So here I've broken down the niche, the platform, and also an alternative platform that you can use because anytime we're doing outreach, we really wanna pick two methods. And the momentum of you reaching out to these prospects on more than one platform will ultimately help you increase your conversions rather than just using one. So many times, if we're going to send a LinkedIn message, we're going to follow up with an email or we're going to send an email. We're going to follow up with a phone call. There's going to be some familiarity and prospects are going to remember you because you reached out to them before in the past. So there's some brand building rather than just having one outreach method and banking solely on that one platform and hoping it converts. So there's a lot of power in doubling up here. So if I were going after, let's say real estate, I would spend my time on LinkedIn and Instagram. Realtors, if they're in the market, they know what they're doing. Most likely they're social selling on LinkedIn and Instagram. This is a great place to reach out to them. And I would combine that with email. For gyms, I would do Instagram. Great place to reach out to them because most likely they're sharing their workouts, they're sharing their class schedule there, and they're active on the platform. Also, most of the time, the actual owner owns the Instagram page. So by reaching out to the Instagram page, you'll most likely be hitting the owner if it's a smaller fitness studio. On top of that, I would layer this with some cold calls. It can be a great place for gyms. Chiropractors, uh, LinkedIn is an easy place to actually find them. You can quickly do some filters and find chiropractors on LinkedIn by doing some basic searches. So if you haven't already, check out my video on how to find prospects on LinkedIn. I'll make sure to put that in the description, but that can show you how to build lists, how to reach out to chiropractors, gym owners, anybody on this list, and then ultimately what to say to them and how to message them. It's a great video. I would combine that with cold calling as well. For martial arts, I would do Facebook and email attorneys, LinkedIn and email, dental, LinkedIn and email, B2B tech, again, LinkedIn and email. You might see a pattern here because this is a deadly combo. Yoga studios, just like gyms and fitness studios, I would do Instagram and cold calling. And then roofing, I would actually do email and cold calling. They're a little bit more old school, a little bit more traditional. It might be difficult to reach out to these roofing company owners on a social media platform. So email and cold call is great. Coaches, you can do Instagram and email as well as med spots, Instagram and email. So those 
those are quite a few niches that you can go after with platforms. And these, you know, we, we've really gone after all of these niches in our journey of running an SMMA. And this is where we've been most effective for each niche. So take this list, utilize it. Hopefully you can get some clients. And before we move on to how to find leads, let's actually quickly take a pause. And when you're trying to pick a niche, don't necessarily get hung up on just having one when you're first starting out. I've said this many times in other videos, but when you're scaling from zero to six figures, you can be very opportunistic. You can work with a lot of different niches. It's only when you go from six to seven figures, you really need to pick a niche, a process, and have a repeatable system that you can scale. So pick two of these niches if you're just starting out, try them out for a few weeks, optimize the messaging, and if you're hitting roadblocks, simply move on, try something else. This is gonna get you results much, much faster. It's gonna make you more money, and it's gonna get you more experience than just limiting yourself to one niche without having a ton of experience in SMMA. So hopefully that makes sense and is gonna save you a lot of time. In this next section, I wanna talk about finding leads. So let's find some leads that you can go after. I'm gonna pick a niche randomly from this guide and we're gonna build a list right now on this video. So let's go with attorneys as a niche that we can prospect. So there's several ways you can pull down a list, but I'm gonna give you two that you can quickly build a prospecting list and start reaching out to businesses. So if I wanted to find attorneys, I would go to d7leadfinder.com. This is a free way you can pull down thousands of leads in any niche in any city. So I would do attorneys. You can also specify personal injury, criminal defense. I'm just gonna do general attorneys for now, general practice, and let's pick a city. We'll go with Minneapolis. Now, if you hit get leads, what D7 Lead Finder is gonna do is it's gonna pull and fetch a list of thousands of attorneys that you can go after. So it takes about three minutes to pull down the entire list, but this is gonna give you names, emails, phone numbers, and then you can do all of the methods that we just mentioned. You can look them up on Instagram and send them a note. You can look them up on LinkedIn, send them a note there. You can directly email them from this list or just dial the number and get to the decision maker. So another way you can do this is just just simply go to LinkedIn and search for a lawyer. You could also do a Boolean search where you do lawyer or attorney hit search. And then you can filter this down by the geographical location they live in. So hit people right here. And then if you go to all filters, you can either select what degree of connections you are. I'm just going to pick United States for now and show results. This gives me about 1 million results. So there's a lot of attorneys that you can go after and you can easily connect with them send them a note, simply say, hey, I was looking for industry leaders in the legal space, came across your profile, love to connect. Once they accept, then you can hit them with your first prospecting message and follow up again and again. So this is a great way to rip down a list for free. You can tell I'm not using the paid version of LinkedIn. This is the free version that everybody has access to that you can get literally millions of leads for free. So now that you've picked a niche, you've picked some outreach methods that you're gonna use. Now let's talk about messaging that's going to convert. There are a few rules that you can apply here. Number one, keep it short, simple, and to the point. Number two, as quickly as possible, describe how your services will benefit them. Too often, I hear people saying, our SMMA does this, we do that. Right away in the first sentence, you want to talk about them and how this can benefit their business. And last, you want to have a call to action. Usually this is, hey, let's jump on a call. We can share further insights and have a discussion on how we can grow your business. You want to have some kind of CTA or call to action at the end of your email, DM, whatever it is. So make sure before you hit send or you make that call or you send that DM that all three of these things are checked in order to have a message that's actually gonna be heard and is going to be something that converts. So a simple message that you can use would look something like this. Hi name, and then you would put in your name, in this case, Derek here with VTL. I came across your website and noticed that at a brief note or a hole in their strategy, either they're not running ads, look them up on Facebook ad library, Google their business, maybe go onto their website, find some kind of hole in their game that you can add here. See how we're speaking to them and actually talking about how this can benefit them and not saying like, we do this, we do that. So right away, we're addressing that. So put one brief hole in their strategy. And then you could say something like many attorneys I speak with have been focused on three key areas for business growth in 
insert the year. Referrals, SEO Google search, and video content. Has this been an area of focus for your practice as well? And then you could just leave it at that. See if they respond. If they do not respond, you can follow up with them in about 48 hours and say, hey, the reason I ask is I own a marketing agency. Now we're talking about ourselves. We weren't doing that in the first message. We are trying to establish curiosity and a simple response. Many times you will get a response from that first message, but if you don't, you want to continue to follow up with them. I see so many people when they first start an SMMA, they send out 30 emails. They never follow up with any of those 30, and then they wonder why nobody has responded to them. You have to follow up. If they don't respond to you, most of the time or most of the conversions we get are from the second, the third, the fourth email that we send to the prospect. So make sure you follow up if they don't respond. And this is what an example could look like. You could say, hey, the reason why I ask is I own a marketing agency specializing in sustainable growth for the legal space. We've seen large conversions and first time customers come through search and social selling. And if you have any case studies or any numbers or things like that, that you could put here, that would be a great opportunity to do that. But if not, just move on. That's totally fine. If predictable net new revenue is a focus for you and your team, we should connect. Let me know if you have a window this week or next, and I'm happy to share further insights. Notice then we talked about how it could benefit them. And then we had a call to action. Let me know if you have a window this week or next, and I'm happy to share further insights. We should connect. We should set up a call, whatever verbiage you want to use. This is how you get messages to convert your name, your company. Very, very simple. Another way you can start getting clients is actually running ads for your business. So I would suggest once you have some profits and you start closing some deals, you run some ads for your agency. Why would you run ads for your agency? Well, it's much easier to convince somebody the power of social media if they literally come through a funnel from social media. All these other outreach methods are good. This is how we built our $10,000 a month SMMA and how we scaled beyond that. Today we're at seven figures, but the high quality leads that we get today at the level where at now are from referrals and ads. So when somebody comes through your ad, they're bought in. They understand the power of social media versus when you're cold calling, you're emailing, you're DMing, you're trying to convince people that maybe they're not 100% interested, which is fine. These are free methods. This is all free what I'm talking about. So <laughs> you can't complain if you have to send three times more messages than you would do for a paid advertisement, but this stuff works. So once you start closing some deals, I want you to have the mindset of I'm going to start running some ads because that's really how you start to scale once you have a few wins in the game. And I want to hit home again that you can build a $10,000 a month business by using these free methods. This is exactly how we built our business and you can do the same. Again, if you want me to shoot another video on what to say on these calls, like I said earlier in the video, comment down below. I'd be happy to shoot that if we get enough social engagement. A lot of you asked for this video. So if you guys comment, you want that video, we'll make it for you. Otherwise, if you have any other questions on the process, comment them down below because that that's what this channel is about. I'm gonna put another video on the screen that I think would be really helpful if I was first starting an SMMA that a lot of people have found valuable. So go ahead and click this video because it's really gonna help you in the next stage of your journey. And if you made it this far, please give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.